You know, guys, I just want to say, it's not been the easiest season for us. We got a really late start, a lot of hunts with nothing, but all I can really say at this point is hopefully we can do it this year too. Let's get out there. Okay, guys, I'm actually on the edge of the field right now. I started seeing stuff like this. Like, you see that? Like, there's, look at all these leaves that's been turned over. Those prints, something's been going on here. Check it out, guys. Something's been right here, and I feel like there's been a bug fight right here. Like, no kidding. There's either been a bug fight, like something's been getting attacked right here. Because if you look around, you can see something intense has went on right through here, and... Honestly, guys, with it probably in about peak rut, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if this would have been a buck fight. This is really important because today it's a pretty windy day, so the leaves are moving, and that lets us know that that's fresh because it hasn't been recovered up with leaves. Whatever that's been, it was probably this morning. There's actually a tree stand right over there. We may end up hunting out of it. So far, we've not seen anything, mainly because we got here about three minutes ago, but still. Oh, snap. Hold the phone, Judy. We did see something. Calvin, the little squirrel that always climbs that tree, we saw him as he's walking in. He's terrified. <laughs> he thinks I'm a Sasquatch. <laughs> but back to the action. It's a little windy today, which is one of the reasons I chose to come to the tree stand instead of the building at the field. Because in this location, I can at least see a little bit down the hill. I can actually hear something making some noise. And I've not identified it yet. It could either be a squirrel hoping it's a deer. Ah, never mind, it's a squirrel. Well, dog, if it isn't, Odell Beckham Jr. the squirrel. But my hopes is that if it's too windy for the deer to come up here on the ridge, that I'll still be able to see it when they're down there in the valley. But I guess it's about time to go ahead and put the first bullet in the gun. Probably should have done that a while ago, but I don't really know what's happening. The ammo that we're using this deer season is 223. But if you just go out and get normal full metal jacket 223 bullets, it's not going to be the best at killing deer. And so the ammo we have today is some 223, and I don't know if you can see it or not, they're actually soft point. What that's going to do is it's very similar to a hollow point. Once it hits something, the front is actually going to open up and expand. That's perfect for deer hunting because the bigger your bullet can get, that's just the more stuff it can tear up once it gets inside the deer. Kind of terrified. But big shout out to our buddies at Cheaper Than Dirt for hooking us up with this ammo along with some 45 ACP and 9mm back at the house. If you have some crazy calipers that you just can't find ammo to, go ahead and check out Cheaper Than Dirt. They most likely have it. But we're loading it up. Oh, green mean machine is loaded and she is just waiting for something to eat. Though bold action's been hungry for about a year now, so it's about time to feed her. I don't know guys. I'm 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 crazy. Oh yeah, quick side note. Someone made fun of me for dabbing the other day. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was even half asleep, but they made fun of me. I was like, listen buddy, I'm speechless. I was actually never aware that dabbing went out of style in the nineteen nineties apparently. Sorry, sorry. Give me a break, Karen. Anyways, guys, I'll let you go. I probably need to stop talking anyhow. We are out here again, guys. It is actually a different day. I didn't say anything last time. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, Derek, but I can't control Mother Nature. I mean, if the deer ain't moving, the deer ain't moving. Just how it's gonna be. I mean, we can just call it a day and blame it on the moon phases. But on this hunt, we're doing something we've not done all year. We're going to be calling deer. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can call in deer during the rut. One, you can have a grunt call. These are calls that sound like maybe another buck or even a doe. Here's what they sound like. I prefer not to use that method, mainly because I don't know how. But there is another method which is kind of hard to mess up. It's rattling. Now you may be laughing at my rattling antlers, but listen, but listen. These are the only two I had that were bigger than a spike. And no, I did not kill these. These are the ones I got in fan mail. They don't even match, but that's okay. My hunting spot's kind of close to here, so. I'm gonna try to do this real soft, real, real quiet. You do that except a lot more aggressive. Now I'm not gonna call at full volume right now because if I do, there'll be a buck gonna come right out between those two trees and it will impale me. Not today, Bucky. But once we do get up in the woods, I'll call at full volume. And if you saw the last video where we went fishing and hunting at the same time, you'll know that we checked one of the trail cameras and we actually saw Bucky in the same spot I'm going today. And Bucky, he's like a 10 or eight pointer. If he hears two little four pointers fighting, he's gonna come in there and he's gonna jack them up. 
hopefully it'll work. But anyways, guys, I'm trying to get all my talking out now because once I get in the woods, I'm not saying anything today. I'm just gonna be a statue like this. I'm not even gonna move. See, I can talk and my mouth isn't even moving. I learned that one from Mammy. But anyways, guys, let's head on in there. And in the meantime, here's some mariachi music. <laughs> It's a little bit windy guys and that's one of the things that's kind of preventing me from going out and getting in a tree stand right now I mean my main tree stand is up on a ridge and well with it windy like this they ain't gonna be up on a ridge I, I, don't, I don't think so but this is crazy this is like tornado type season stuff look at the top of that tree you can't even see it because my camera's won't even focus there you go I mean it may not look like much but it's pretty windy today and I'm not a fan I'll just be honest as y'all have saw like through the last eight minutes this video has consisted of like I don't know like five days in a row of just not a lot I mean I do want to say this two days ago I saw Bucky in person now I wasn't hunting I was actually riding around on the mule I was just riding around I looked up boom there was Bucky standing probably 35 yards from me listen listen to this that's crazy, but I was looking right at Bucky, but I didn't have a gun. I was on the mule. I couldn't shoot him. Okay, now we're here at this camera. This is actually the one where we checked it and we saw Bucky. But we don't have many pictures. We only have um, one doe right here. Then you flip the picture. It's another nighttime. I don't see anything there. It could have been a deer that skirted off on the, on the edges. And then we got this right here. You kind of got to zoom in, but there are actually two does. You have one right there, just a little doe. And then if you scroll over, you'll see, boom, right there, just another doe. And besides that, that's really all we got. Rifle season does not last very much longer at all, and we're kind of running out of time. I'm just going to say this, guys. If we have to try to kill Bucky with a bow, it's going to make it a whole lot harder. Let's just say that. I've actually ran some numbers, done the calculations. To kill it with a bow, it's going to be about 16.89 times harder than with a rifle. But I tell you what I do know, the wind is going fast and I do not have a need for speed right now. Okay guys, a few hours have passed. I'm actually heading in to the tree stand. This is like my last time I'm going to hunt. Now I am taking an umbrella, mainly because I'm afraid of the rain. Also, while I'm walking into the stand, it's been a long season, guys, it really has. I want to give a big shout out to my stinking gun sling right here, man. This thing's been on my back more than pants i don't know what i'm saying long story short this gunsling has been put to use son and y'all have seen it's so much easier than just carrying a gun around all the time you just throw it on your back and you're good to go i'm just gonna be quiet guys i'm gonna go jumping in the up in a stand and hunt out my last few hours of rifle season ah. definitely a great idea Oh. 
Now, as you know, it's not Black Friday anymore. But that doesn't matter, because our sale's still going on. It ends 11.59 Monday, so at the end of Cyber Monday, the sale is over. We have over 45 items on sale, up to 80% off. If you want to check out any merch, now is the time to buy it. Christmas is coming up. Tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell your kids, tell, tell your dog. KendallGrade1.com slash shop with the first link in the description.